Hi everyone, this is gonna be a really quick one. I got so excited that Anima released the new version of um, their plugin, Launchpad, and now there's the two really cool things that are possible. Uh, one is to create fixed elements, floating elements like a header or a footer or an action um, button. And the other super cool thing is also the ability to now, when you're creating a stack or a flex box, you can collapse. If you hide one of the elements, the whole stack will uh, collapse. So you don't have to create multiple versions of it just because you want to hide temporary one. Let's say you're working on something that, um, you know, you tap a button and you want a, a module to expand just below one of the ones you created. Now you just, uh, you know, just uh, hide or display a portion of it and everything else will shift. So now I'm just going to show what it looks like. And uh, here we go. So let's say we have this content here. It's just a, some images from Unsplash. And then we have a header. And you can download the file to see some of the details, but I'm going to show only the, the, what's new in uh, Launchpad 0 0.8. So for the header, now we can easily make it fixed, like this way, set fixed position, done. And you see, you get feedback here to tell you that it happened. And the other thing we want to do, we want to make sure that that is going to be still pinned, you know, this way to the sides and to the top, so that when the actual artboard it resides, things move nicely. Uh, so here you see that that is not moving correctly, so I'm just going to actually add a pin there. Not to the right, I always get this too confused, but to the left. And let's say, let's use a 8 pixel grid. Now the logo has a lot of margin, but you you get it for that. Okay, and then same thing on the right. So here I'm going to do 16 pixels. So now everything is nice and set. So if I go like this, you see the logo doesn't move and uh, the profile uh, image here is always anchored to the right. Now for the content, I said what we want it to happen, we want it to be always uh, centered. And so it's going to be like this. And to make it obvious, I'm going to shift this slightly. And you see this got to 66. I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to turn that on again. Actually, give it zero. That was just so you could see how things can move. And so here, if I were just to stretch these, these are with fill. They're not responsive images uh, the way you might have seen my other post about it. So responsive images. Um, uh, would actually be centered around the focal point of the images. These are just fills. So, you know, your images has been pasted in, and, and so you have less control over it. It's great for quick uh, layouts, but this is definitely. So, what I want to show you though is the new thing here, which is once you create a stack like this here, you also get this option here. Now, if in the past, if this was uh, basically was the equivalent of not having this, if you uncheck that and you went here and Command Shift H, hit um, hit something. Whoops, you have to click there. Command Shift H, right? You see nothing changed. This is probably was not the intended behavior for uh, your designs, because you probably here, if you hide that, you want something to this three elements to float up. So instead with that setting on, pressing escape goes to the parent. So it goes to the parent folder here. Then I can check this by clicking this when I uh, then try to hide something, command shift H again. Boom, everything is moved. This is gonna be a huge time saver, so I invite you to try it out. Um, remember that when you are stacks, you can do things like this, and each element can be completely different in size, and you can come up with really awesome layouts. Here, you can even change uh, the settings for both. Uh, sorry, I always get that wrong. You have to do one folder at a time. So, for example, here, you can change this to be, let's say, 60 pixels since they are grid. And then here, you can do the thing. It would be great to be able to set multiple folders, properties at once, but it's not the end of the day. Now, 
Uh, you just want to make sure that if you want people to read this vertically, you're going to have leg space between these rows and then the space in between these two columns. So uh, for the book now, I'm going to just be eight. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Eight. And, and now you can see I can I totally get it. This is intended behavior. Uh, the designer wanted me to read this in this order. And small plug. Yeah, free and willing. That's my company. And I got I clicked this by mistake and they moved it. And you see this went to minus 18. Go back to zero. And you can also then just remove it because you don't really need that. But this is a cool feature allows you to shift content from, let's say, the center. And I think that's it for today. Uh, so just very excited. Uh, oh, of course, from here, the, um, the whole goal of this, if I were to make this, duplicate this, and make this like a, a desktop view, right? And then I make it, um, I choose responsive web, and I choose so we can all see it. Now, this you see didn't change. This is a, a bug of when you change the dimensions from this from this drop down here. Uh, hopefully Anima will fix it soon. But if you go here, content and check this again, you're good. And actually you can even just scale it. So let's say if I want it to be this way, this is what it's gonna look on desktop and so just because we are and actually since we are here let's do also a mobile version I'm just gonna move it to the left just so we can see the mobile version so what I want to be here I want to be mobile this is 320 let's see I wish I had more settings here than just these. I know this is responsive web. Let's do Apple devices so we can actually pick iPhone 7. So it look good on place on my phone. It's always good to try and see what the designs look like on your phone. And with Sketch Mirror, it's really easy to do that. So in this case, I'm just going to rename the, the artboard to uh, call it mobile. And you see that the header adjusted properly without having to do anything. Now I'm just going to make this the content instead of being stacked horizontally, and you see the dots here indicate that stack horizontal. I'm just going to make it a vertical stack so that you, now the content here, and there's a quick shortcut I really like content that goes past the artboard. You can make the artboard the size of the content by going enter layer. Resides artboard to fit. I added a shortcut because I use it all the time. Boom. And then you can just add a little more. And since we are on mobile, let's pretend there's actually a, an action we want to add here so we can see again what the floating looks like. Let's see if this is being retained here. I like that I actually position so yes it definitely was set I'm gonna add it again and then here let's add an action I want this to be a floating action let's make it 80 by 80 and I'm gonna pick make it like this and so I'm just gonna anchor it down here for now I'm not gonna add anything to the middle um, I'm just gonna call it Action. and so that action will be set to fixed position and I'm going to add this is the actual distance I want from all the sides this should be pretty much it I actually got to make it smaller it's kind of gigantic and now I'm going to copy that action and paste it here Paste it on the other artboard, and if on tablet it might still make sense, okay. On desktop, maybe that would be actually somewhere else altogether. But let's pretend it's here. I'm gonna put eight pixels, eight pixels, and gonna make it just so we can see responsive uh, aspects of this too. I'm gonna make this 64, 64. 
Okay, and here I'm gonna make it extra small. I'm gonna make it eight and four eight. So now uh, you probably want to make it so that it's, that somebody can scroll more and see. I'm going to also um, here we don't need a page this long, but I, I'm gonna do this so we can see more content. I'm going to show you the tablet. And this is pretty good. And now we have these three together. Uh, just they, there's no value in adding the same action here, but at least you can see how elements can appear and disappear between uh, the different um, views, the different uh, breakpoints. So that's I think it's pretty cool. And, and there we go. We just need to now say to Launchpad, what is the home page? So set it home. And so again, we want to now uh, tell Launchpad which are uh, for for this page, the home page. What are the other breakpoints? To do that, we just select one and then click here, and then now we choose desktop first, and then we do that again. I wish I could do this just by selecting multiple and then saying done, but hey, this is already awesome. So and then from here, you just hit launch all instructions and you'll be able to see uh, and there's so much more but this was supposed to be a very short video just about uh, about these two new features as I said the ability to um, you know make a stacks collapsible and and then and here you can just click publish directly or you can just open it And here we go. And let me see, now I'm just going to bring it into so you guys can see it too. Okay, so you saw this is the brand new responsive side. And you see the moment I go to uh, tablet, that's where I see this. And when I go to mobile, this is where I see this other one. Now, I could design the, the whole content to be more responsive so to, let's say to scale to the width um, of, the, of the viewport but for now it's pretty good I see a little bug up here I need to explore that I think the symbol uh, didn't jive with the uh, settings I had but otherwise it's pretty good you know for a web page to be, and you can see the locked navigation there you can see it also here that's pretty sweet I have not tried if the shadow would actually work, let's say if I had something like that, but that's pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, in the Powered by Launchpad, if you if you uh, pay for it, you can actually get rid of it. So, but you get to play with it for free. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be making more uh, if this kind of videos are stuff that you guys like. Thank you. Ciao.